Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26, verses 36 through 46, where it is written. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with them Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and began to be grieved and agitated. And he said to them, I am deeply grieved even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet, yet not what I want, but what you want. They came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So you cannot stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again, he went away for the second time and prayed, My father, this cannot pass unless I drink it. Your will be done. Again, he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? See the hours at hand. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up. Let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So, a few hours ago, there at the Last Supper, Jesus said, I've longed to eat this Passover with you. A few hours later, an hour or two later, I'm sorrowful even to the point of death. Sit here while I go and pray. God, if I can get out of this, please provide the way. Yet not what I will, but what you will. And to then be arrested, crucified, died, and is buried and rises and ascends. That was the will of God. Jesus knew this the entire time, but still he prayed. Modeling for us the importance of prayer. You always want to pray and be serious about it. Pour your heart up before God. Because you never know. Even Jesus prayed, even though he knew the outcome. And three times. Are you guys still asleep? I'm at my most emotional point I've ever been at my life, and you're sleeping? Peter, you're the leader, and you're leading by example by falling asleep? If Jesus Christ wasn't a loving God, he'd say to Peter, get lost. Get out of here. He forgave him. He became the leader of the apostles yet again. And Jesus knew this was the plan. Via him going to the cross by sincere contrition and repentance, we can be saved. We can be forgiven. But not if he doesn't go to the cross. Everything was hanging on this moment, and even he knew the cost. He didn't want to do it, but still he did it. He put the will of God first. He modeled for us prayer, and he showed us his forgiveness. If God was anyone but Jesus Christ, it would ultimately be horrible, because you, ne you could never measure up. But Jesus shows us the way. It's him. God became a man to save humanity. When we repent, we're with him, we're set. And, my, and repentance might not be what we want. We might want to say, it's not my fault, I'm doing the right thing. We must humble ourselves and repent. Only then can Christ come to us and save us. So we pray for the grace then of sincere contrition and repentance. So let's do that right now. Lord, humble us, God. Bring us to sincere contrition, repentance, and therefore unto forgiveness and eternal life with you. Amen.